Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Fallout 3. Right now, we're in front of three Enclave soldiers that are just standing here at, uh, I guess this used to be a place where they had, a, you know, a, a little outpost thingamajiggy. And they've got their stuff still here. They've taken their helmets off. And their officer is dead. Um, got some pretty nice stuff on on that their officer's inventory. So what happened, guys? I've got nothing to say to wastelander scum like you. I've got nothing to say to wastelander scum like you. I've got nothing to say to wastelander scum like you. Okay, so uh, the Three Stooges are not uh, in a talkative mood, it would seem. Uh, I think we've caught them on a bad day. But, uh, I guess we just sort of have to infirm, uh, infer our own little story from here. I guess after the uh, Adams Air Force Base was blown up, I'm going to say that these three guys are just soldiers. Yep, he even says soldier. They're probably, you know, just grunts, foot soldiers. They probably didn't enjoy being the Enclave all that much. It was a job. It was a steady thing for them to do and stay, uh, you know, safe in the wasteland and all that. And uh, I bet th this is just me making up a story to uh, try and, you know, explain the situation here. So take what I say with a grain of salt. This is more of my uh, headcanon than anything. But yeah, I'm going to say after that happened... Their officer was probably like, oh no, we gotta just go take out Brotherhood of Steel, kill them, get revenge, try to regroup with the other Enclave people, the, the ones that are left scattered across the wasteland, and all that. I thought, was, thought I could get up there. Couldn't. Can't jump high enough. And then they were like, no, actually, we've had enough of this, so you're dead now. And they shot her. Oh darn. They shot her dead. And now they're just kind of standing around for some reason. They should be, you know, looting all of the uh, supplies they can and heading on their way to find somewhere else to hunker down. Probably take off the armor because if anybody in the Wasteland recognizes them as Enclave members, then that anybody in the Wasteland is probably not going to like them. And right about now, they should be thinking about assimilating with the local communities and such. But, eh, they're, they're smart young lads. They'll figure it out, so, or not. That scorpion literally just killed all three of them. Like, effortlessly. Well, let's get the energy cell ammo. Hopefully before Ow. the... Ah! Oh, stupid. Rad scorpion. No, no. This way. This way. Come around the car. Thank you. And then I'll take this. And I'll be on my way. Whew. What a massive jerk. So, never mind. That was the story of the three Enclave soldiers who, uh sat around all day oh god he's gonna keep chasing me where's those outcasts the brotherhood outcasts they were over here a second ago yeah that's right get caught on trees you jerk where did they go they were they were up here they were up here they were by the truck they went I know I saw them go the other way at one point but Ah, there they are. Let's get through the rocks, the trees. You guys can take care of it. Thanks. You're the best. You're my buddies, you know that? Just the greatest. Actually, let's watch them <laughs> mop it up. Because it stopped chasing us, or it got caught on something. One of the two. Yep, oh, it's on the other side. I can't jump over the stupid truck. 
Yeah. Suck it, stupid rat scorpion with your stupid poison glands. Never have any good loot on you when you die. Yet you're somehow like one of the strongest freaking enemies in the entire game. Jerk. Yeah. Anyway, we're trying to go to Fairfax Ruins. That's up north here. And there's some raiders. Great. More crap for me to deal with. I'm not going to be able to lure the raiders over to the outcasts either. I mean, I probably could. But uh, if the raider has a gun, then it's not going to work that well. Ugh. Unfortunate thing about those Enclave, though. Let me tell you. Heesh. If they had just been a little more careful. And boom. There you go. One raider down. There's the other. Oh, they're hiding behind the rubble. Can't kill raiders when they're behind rubble. Oh my god, I just accidentally left clicked. Welp. Yay, pre-war money. Mm. Oh, he's already a little damaged. That's weird. And I missed. Fantastic. Screw you. I missed again. I don't know how this is even possible. Shut up, Raider. Go do backflips in hell. <laughs> That, man, you know, man, hell, hell's not not as bad as they say. You just, it's just like gym class in high school. You just gotta do like jumping jacks and and some tumbles and a bit of dodgeball every once in a while when Satan gets bored. Jeez, if I'd known it was like this, I would've, you know, I wouldn't have worried so much. Heesh. That's what those raiders are thinking right now. Letter from vault Tech. Ooh, hey, another one of these. Is that for the building that used to be here and is now completely freaking rubble? Also, um, this is considered stealing. That's interesting. Let's read the note in a second. I want to pop this open first. I don't know who, uh, who lives here, but, I mean, I assumed it would have been the Raiders, but... This wouldn't be tagged as stealing if it belonged to the raiders, because raiders are evil and it's not considered stealing. It's just vodka. Great. We don't need that. But yeah, it's not considered stealing from if you take it from evil people. And the raiders are evil. Turret control system. What turrets? The hell? Let's read that letter from vault Tech before this confuses the hell out of me. Or not? Why is it not showing up in the thing? I'm in notes. Going all the way down to the bottom, now all the way back up. I see no letter from vault Tech. That's not cool. That's not cool, game. Is it in our miscellaneous thing? Nope. No, it is not. Is it in aid? <laughs> I don't think it would be, but just in case. Nope. Um, wouldn't be a weapon, wouldn't be an apparel, wouldn't be an ammo. So I'm not sure where it is. Which wouldn't be in here. So, what the hell was it? We did take it, didn't we? Yeah, I took it. I took it alright. You know, this this sorts all of our items. So we can just go down to L. And oh, Okay, that's... That only shows Laurel's liniment. There was another item that started with the letter L when we looked in our actual inventory. It was also in Misk. Lucy's sealed envelope. Okay, so I guess... Uh, I guess when you're examining a... Uh, container, it doesn't show quest items, and Lucy Sealed Envelope is a quest item from somewhere. Um, nothing worth taking in those things. Yeah, that's, that's really annoying, though. 
like seriously annoying. I don't know if that's a glitch. Did we take it and it accidentally disappeared from my inventory or? Oh wait. Oh okay. Well, there's a scavenger. Now we know how this how who uh. Mm, speak English. Now we know who this place belonged to. Um, it this was the scavenger's home. They had some bottle caps, ammo on them. Good stuff. Frag mines. Yeah. Oh, hunting rifle. Take that. Roving trader outfit, storm chaser hat, wasteland wanderer outfit. Cool. Okay. Well, that's one mystery solved. That's why that stuff was tagged as stolen, and I'm guessing the raiders that we saw over here probably killed the the dude the wastelander unfortunate but uh even more unfortunate than the wasteful loss of human life is the fact that we couldn't read that letter and get more story for our game it's a joke i'm joking it's only a video game character their life means nothing so you know Oh, Jesus. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was a albino rad scorpion. It's the exact same color. And with all those barrels popped up, it looked like some just big thing sitting there. And there is... Red tick marker over there. That's a uh, another raider. And there's a few more raiders over there. Okay, you know what? It's broad daylight, so uh, stealth isn't exactly the best tactic, but there you go. With vats and enough ammo and a silenced weapon, we can uh, we can successfully stealth it. And that, that looks like a weird car. A weird car that I've never seen before. Also, let me double check our map real quick. Let me see how close we are to Fairfax Ruins. We are right next to it. I believe all of this is Fairfax Ruins. And yeah. Oh, it's like a it's like a futuristic street sweeper. Like a literal vacuum sort of thing. Or maybe uh no, I mean I mean it looks like a vacuum cuz it has this big tube. Um Actually, this vehicle makes like no sense. What's the big tube for? Obviously, it's for, like, either sucking air or pushing air. But why is it connected to this valve? Like, the valve doesn't look like it's set up to, uh, to let air through. And it just goes straight into this, like, big part here, which, uh would have to be the engine to get the vehicle to move. So does it also double as like a vacuum or a turbine of some kind to push or pull air? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. It makes literally no sense. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Somebody else, somebody else knows. Let me know. Tell me in the comments or whatever. <laughs> because I don't have the uh, energy to go deciphering this arcane knowledge. This ancient eldritch script. It is far beyond my mortal mind right now. But what's not beyond my mortal mind is all these, all this ammo. Yay. Let's not even look in the trash bins. We're not that lowly. We're level 30. We don't need to be looking through people's trash. Um, but hey, we uh, we found Fairfax Ruins. It got marked off on the map, so I could I could teleport away right now if I wanted. But I'm not gonna, because first I'm gonna. Well, first we can't fast travel with enemies nearby, so I'd have to walk away quite a distance to be able to fast travel, anyways, if I wanted to. But also, since I'm here, and since raiders are uh, de facto horrible people, according to Fallout, we might as well do the world a favor and uh, kill them all before we fast travel on to greener pastures or 
slightly less dirty, um, you know, ruins. Because as far as the Fallout universe is concerned, there are no green pastures. You're either in a shitty place like this, filled with tons of... Oh, God. Still crouching. Oh! Oh! Rocket launcher, dude! Please stop. Rocket launcher... Ro the Rocket launcher chick, I mean. Couldn't tell she was a dude from far away. All these raiders look the same to me. They're all just grimy, dirty people who shoot at you on sight. And I need some health. So let's take a couple stim packs and Nuka Cola. And some Meyer Lurk. Nu uh, Nuka Lurk meat. Awesome. Alright. Pop out here. Shoot her before she can shoot me, hopefully. Yes, thank you. And we'll have to do a little bit of ducking and... Oh, shoot. They... Some of the bullets were still getting around the thing. I was hoping the pole would block the majority of the damage. But it did not. It didn't, it didn't do much at all. Anybody else around in any other direction? Just them? Okay, cool. Okay, I think this is the last one. Yeah. Hidden, so, yep, seems like it. Okay, now let's loot the bodies for ammo. And medics. Ammo and drugs. It's what, uh, it's what every wastelander needs. Ammo and drugs. Delicious. How many more dead bodies are there? This one... Ooh, frag grenade. Shame you didn't use it. You might have done a bit of damage to me, like your friend with the rocket launcher did. And just one more dead person up there. Always the most tedious part of this game, ironically. It's not killing people. It's having to uh, loot their bodies afterwards. Oh, wait, actually, take the noodles. That's a healing item. A healing item which we will use. Purified water, iguana bits. Anything else? Any other food? Nope, okay. Then it's up to the blood packs. Good. Now, that. That's a trap. Um, which I'm actually very lucky to have uh, avoided. Because that's the exact same type of trap that I fell for in Old Oni. Old Olni. Can't ever pronounce that word correctly on a moment's notice. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing it leads down to the metro tunnels. Which it's kind of funny that the... Fairfax, Fairfax Metro Station. Yeah, it's kind of funny that the Metro Station, <coughs> excuse me, isn't marked on the map, but the, like, general location that the Metro Station is in is marked on the map. Uh, not sure about that, but let's quick save and pop down here to see. Because it, it, in terms of the uh, physical location of this door in comparison to the entrance to the metro. They don't seem very far away from each other. But of course, as we know from past experience, the uh, physical location of the two entrances to a place can be very misleading in comparison to the actual layout of the area once you're inside it. But we'll check it out anyways. And I mean, hey, we already got a crap ton of ammo for our trouble. Kind of wish I'd been able to get a sneak crit on him, but I was in a hurry. And can you blame me? 
I'm in another goddamn metro tunnel. I don't want to be in here. It's a waste of my time. I'm a, I'm an important. Yeah. Speak. I'm an important person. I've got places to be, things to do. I don't have all day to be walking around in metro tunnels, which are like basically the devil right now to me. Anybody up here? No. Yeah, we've already definitely gone past where the entrance to the metro should be. And this is a completely different place. Okay. Interesting. Some railway spikes. That's nice, I guess. Ladder to the Capital Wasteland. Okay. Okay, well, we're back out in Fairfax Ruins. Think, uh... Yeah, over there. That's where all the raiders were at. That we killed. Oh, let's, uh, quick save again, which we actually didn't need to do. I forget. I always forget that this game auto-saves every time you go through a door. And it causes me to quick save more than I need to. But, I think, I think all those red dots are in this room. And what's this? Turret control system? That's nice. We don't need turrets. We've got a silenced weapon and a bit high sneak skill. Turrets are nothing compared to my own capacity for magically dealing extra oh. damage. Oh. oh, whoops. Hey. Oh. Speaking oh. of turrets. Oh. Oh, let's Oh, I'm caught. I'm caught oh. in the thing. Oh boy. You didn't see that. You did not. Oh. Oh. Jeez. It's a Mark 7 turret too. It's uh very very powerful. Do we have any EMP things? Some uh pulse anything pulse grenades? Yes, we do. You know, let's do a pulse mine. There you go. Awesome. So, as I was trying to say, yeah, turrets are nothing compared to my natural capacity to somehow deal extra damage to people that aren't aware of my presence. Which, uh, don't take that as complaining. I understand the necessity for video games to put in something like sneak crits to make stealth a uh, viable combat option. But if you think about it, it really doesn't make any sense in a real life setting. I mean, with the uh, if you're playing like a uh, you know, fantasy medieval setting type of RPG, then it makes a little bit of sense, because if you're using a melee weapon, like a dagger, or a sword, or whatever, um, it does make a little bit of sense, because getting on, getting up close to someone who is unaware of your presence means that you've got more, you know, time to, uh, carefully pick and choose where you stab them, you know, uh, and... And uh, they're also not aware enough to defend themselves. So you can, you know, stab them without them, you know, trying to parry it or move out of the way or anything like that. So with a melee weapon, the idea of a, uh, a sneak crit does make a bit of sense. It, uh, you know, it's a, a gameplay interpretation of the fact that you're attacking a person who cannot defend themselves and you're you've also you know because of the fact that they're unaware of you you've got you know plenty of time to you know slip the blade between their armor or whatever and uh do them a nasty but in a game with guns no it doesn't really make any sense at all uh I mean, getting a headshot makes sense, you know, just, you know, and just, just in general, not even specifically a headshot, but just in general, the fact that you can cripple certain body parts, you know, you shoot a person in the leg, 
Then they uh, start hobbling around. That makes sense. But that's that's a separate thing from from sneak crits and uh, yeah, doesn't uh, doesn't really make much sense to do extra damage to someone with a bullet fired from afar just because they're not aware of your location for independence. I actually have to apologize. I forgot to look up what the name of this place was before I started going here. But for independence sounds like a pretty important place. Certainly obviously it's some type of military location. Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming. Oh. Okay. Up there. Don't worry, I got this one. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sure they needed the help. Two raiders is a. You get yourself killed out here. You mind doing it further away from our bunker? I don't want your corpse stinking up our little patch of heaven. Yeah, I'm sure uh, two raiders would have been a, a you know horribly overwhelming task for a bunch of. Brotherhood of Steel outcasts to uh, take care of, so th they should really appreciate my help. Um, thanks for the help. Who are you? Trust me, I don't plan to die anytime soon. I'd hate if my corpse ruined this lovely wasteland. It clashed with the drapes. Shut up and get that fucking gun out of my face. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the, the sarcastic option. I'd hate if my corpse ruined this lovely wasteland. It clashed with the drapes. Yeah. The red would never go with all this brown. But if we remodel and still need a corpse, we'll call you, okay? I'm Defender Anne-Marie Morgan with the Outcasts. Good to have someone else out here who can keep up. Who are you people? I'll just be on my way then. Well, this... Oh, God. Why? Why would you design the dialogue like this? Because I'll just be on my way then is obviously not what we want to choose because that would cancel the conversation and we go on our own way. The only way to initiate any type of, like, unmarked quest or anything like that is to choose the other option. But we already know who they are. We know who they are super hard. We've talked to the regular Brotherhood of Steel and been in discussions with them and, and you know, they've explained who the outcasts are. We've uh, done the Operation Anchorage DLC, which requires you to work with the Brotherhood outcasts. And we've passed Brotherhood outcasts and talked to them, though they didn't have much to say when wandering throughout the wasteland. So why is this the only option? Why is asking who are you people the only option? Sorry, I know this will sound like nitpicking, but it should be you know built into the game that if you've already, at, at the very least, if you've already done the Operation Anchorage DLC, which is the only way that I know of, besides perhaps this exact situation we're in right now with Defender Morgan here, you know, the, the, the only way perhaps besides this to directly interact with the Brotherhood Outcasts and, you know, talk with them a lot and do stuff with them is the Operation Anchorage DLC, so you could have at least put in a little trigger that the game will remember. If you've already done the Operation Anchorage DLC, then when you come here, you can have an extra dialogue option, like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, a friend of you guys or whatever, don't you remember me and stuff like that or something, like, oh, anything, anything's better than nothing, but whatever, so who are you people? We call ourselves the Outcasts, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of Zeros, who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. Way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh in following orders, we're probably doing something right. Collect technology? How do I sign up? Tell me about the Outcasts. What have you got against the Brotherhood? Mmm, these two... Bad, 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 but we'll have to probably do them anyways. Let me ask about this one first. Do you collect technology? How do I sign up? We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Protector Kasdan would have to okay it first. I'm not sure. Tell me a bit more about this work. Sounds good. I'm in. I'll pass. If I can't be a member, I won't be your errand boy. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. 
But first you'll have to talk with Protector Kasdan. You can work out the details with him. Back to stare and awe at the outcast? Don't you have something better to do, kid? Yeah, mm, yeah, we just talked. You kind of already said that. and Whatever. Let's uh, finish up her other dialogue options. But real quick, I want to just point out... Um, she said the line... That old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. Um, you do. You demonstrably off, do uh -huh. trust walk-ins because of the fact that in Fallout 1, the, uh, the, uh, Vault Dweller from Vault, what was it, 11? I kind of can't remember the number. I think it was 11. The Vault Dweller in that game joins the Brotherhood of Outcast, uh, I mean, sorry, the Brotherhood of Steel almost, like, accidentally, uh, and just by basically going and get one item to prove himself or herself, uh, and the Brotherhood Outcasts, for those of you who might not know, um... I'm Protector Henry Kasdan, leader of the Outcasts. This had better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local, but Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So, interested in collecting technology for us? Well, it's nice of him to come and find us instead of making us track him down, but he interrupted me, so you can just wait a second there, Kasdan. What I was trying to say is, um, yeah, basically in Fallout 1, you, you, your character joins the Brotherhood of Steel almost effortlessly, and uh, the Brotherhood Outcasts, for those of you who don't know, are basically the original Brotherhood of Steel. The, uh, you know, Lions guy there leading the current Brotherhood of Steel, uh, he's actually uh, an offshoot from what the Brotherhood is normally like. The Brotherhood, who started out in California, way out west, um, they're all about collecting and hoarding technology, and they're very uh, sort of xenophobic, is one way to put it. Not quite literally, but... They don't trust outsiders, really. Which, actually, no. I guess that is literally xenophobia. Whatever. Point is, um, you know, and the outcasts are completely in line with what the original Brotherhood of Steel acts like, and the original Brotherhood of Steel had no problem accepting walk-ins, and also within this very game, because of the Operation Anchorage DLC, again, the uh, outcasts truck trust a walk-in as defender morgan puts it to help them with something so yes you do trust walk-ins it's not just lions shut up <laughs> anyway all right so need to know more about this job before deciding i'll take the job need time to consider it. need to know more about the job it's simple enough bring in technological devices and we'll pay you for what you find big things like power armor or energy weapons are best but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts too you never know what's important. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo, grenades, stim packs, or right away. I'll bet they're more useful to you out there anyway. Well, that's true, because I don't have power armor to give me a bunch of defense and radiation resistance. Yeah, I'll take the job. That's what I like to hear. You can start immediately. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. Uh-huh. I don't have anything to turn in. Tell me more about the outcasts. How do you find how do you feel about the Brotherhood of Steel? Um, I have a feeling he'll say much the same things as Morgan would say over there, but we'll ask both of them anyways. We were cast out for our dedication to the Brotherhood's true goals. Lions wanted to play hero to the locals instead of doing his job. We were proud to leave him, so we kept the name Outcasts and wear it with pride. A big fuck you to the old man. He may have struck our names from the Great Codex, but we'll be vindicated in the end, and our names will be restored. How do you feel about the Brotherhood of Steel? Which one? The original Brotherhood out west, or the shit that Lyons turned it into out here? Uh, well, actually, he's about to explain what I just explained, but we'll hear his, uh, his way of phrasing it. So what do you mean the original Brotherhood? I mean the Brotherhood from out west, back around California. We knew what we were doing back there. We didn't waste time with delusions of heroism. We were collecting still glowing embers from the ashes of humanity. Before civilization's fire died completely. We didn't worry about saving individual communities. 
We worried about saving the progress of humanity itself. That's a nice way to put it. How did lions change the brotherhood? Well, we used to be as tough as the rest of us. It wasn't so long ago. We fought side by side to scourge the pit. But somewhere, he went soft. Stopped looking at the big picture and started trying to save every tribal and illiterate community he found. When he had us helping those savages instead of recovering tech that could help us all, that's when we objected and became outcasts. So what's your long-term plan for dealing with the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood came out here to recover technology from the eastern cities and bases. If lions won't do it, then we will. And when we resume contact with the western elders, lions is going to be put in his place. Even if that place is in front of a firing squad. Alright, that's enough. Alright then. And I'm ready to go. Later. Yes, later. And let's just talk to Herb real quick before we end the video. Back to stare and awe at the outcasts? Don't you have something better to do, kid? Not really. Tell me about the outcasts. We collect technology, and most people want what we've collected. Right now, we're pretty much stuck defending this fort, but that won't be forever. Once we regroup, we'll continue our work and keep moving back west. Okay. Uh, what have you got against the Brotherhood? You mean apart from the fact that they ditched their mission and went native? Sure. I bet you don't mind them being cuddly with the locals, but when we came out here, we had a mission to do, damn it. But now they're wasting their time protecting yahoos like you, while Ahab Lyons is off chasing his super mutant white whale. <laughs> by that analogy, you think Lyons will be killed by the super mutants? But they're heroes, they defend the capital wasteland. So you just figure you'll strike out on your own as outcasts? Let's go with the intelligent option. Huh? And here I thought we had the only remaining copy of that. Anyway, I don't know if the old man's going to die from them. But he sure as hell looks like he's going to drag his soldiers down with him. But he's not wasting any of our time anymore, damn it. Sure. Bye. Whatever you say. Well, that's that. Brotherhood Outcasts. Um, we'll try to poke around in this building next episode if we can. It might be locked for all I know. I don't know. Um, but we'll have to say that for the next episode because I'm all out of time. And speaking of which... um. I don't know, I might talk a little bit about my opinions on the Brotherhood of Steel and the Outcasts versus the uh, uh, current Lions-led group versus the old original Brotherhood. So, but I don't have the time for that right now. Maybe in the next episode, unfortunately. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, hope you all continue to enjoy it, etc., etc. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.